All right, so I'm just leaving now. Um, there's not a cloud in the sky. Actually, there's a couple of clouds right on the horizon, but we won't count those. The sun is out. It's going to be a pretty amazing day. We've got a little bit of a southwester this morning, so we're going to get a little bit pumped going over this morning, but once we get there, we'll be sweet. So let's get into it. Try not to get too close. If they want to come to me, they can come to me. Looks like there's the two there. That's the one, I think. Hard to tell. Not two there. So calf and a mum. All right. So we've had some minor technical issues, but um, camera's working now, and uh, we're out here. And I got a bit of mashed potato on the way over. Smashed avo on the way over. So, but now we're here. Trust me, it will glass out. It will be, give it a, an hour or two. Let that morning breeze drop right down. It's already looking all right around the islands here. Saw that whale, saw some bait busting up. First thing, when this before this tide runs out, I just want to jump up on this flat here and have a look. And then there's another flat around the corner there that I want to have a look at just for tuskies. And then it'll be, Tide will run out, be low tide, we'll do something else and we'll just keep we'll just keep moving with the tide. So yeah, we'll see, see what we can do. Oh, we've lost that battle. So just about got the last little bit of the run here. You can see there's this flat here. I don't know if these these rocks are gonna be too big or it's gonna be too corally. I've never really got up here before, so put that down. Probably leave that up a bit. Not pretty shallow. See what we can see what we can do. I've just got a little prawn imitation on, a little turbo turbo crawls Z monster. So we'll give that a go. Yeah, it's more corally man than anything. Too corally I would say. Can't get them. Squids. Oh, Tusky. Missed one because I was fucking around with the squid. Might need a bit of tide here, but we'll have a look at what we got here. Fill a bit of water here. See what there is. Rubbly. And we should be sheltered from the wind somewhat. So yeah, let's give it a let's give it a whirl. Small, many small. Too rippy along here, way too rippy. Very rippy. Oh, there's some massive tusks there, look. Massive. Oh. Oh. Missed him. Let's see how far I can get one more shot at him. Up in there. Refused me. What a dog. Wild for him now. Mmm. Very rippy though, this current. Very rip. This backside here should be a bit better. Look at this shark just cruising. Oh, shark on the lure. Look at this. 
<laughs> oh, and there's a couple of tuskies just sitting there. Of course, of course, why wouldn't there be? Because I'm playing with sharks. I'm a dickhead. There's another big tusky here, right below me. Look at him, wowzers. That's a full smokeowing, proper smokeowing there. All right, let's get back on track. Oh, big one. Refused. I've spotted a lot already. I've spotted so many already. He just was huge. That's that's a couple now. <laughs> I'm hopeless, eh? Proper hopeless. Yeah. Another one. There's one there, look. Big dog too. He's happy. He's very happy. Tusky. He's still there. I've drifted away off him. Really. Can't believe that it's happened. Happy. No, too close. Yeah, spooked. Fucking, fucking hexy. I was too close then. I was casting into the wind. Decent fish too. He was very happy. Look at that fish. Oh, did I move that? Did they not see it? Because they're sitting there. Yeah, is he going to see it? Is he going to see it? Is he looking? He's looking. 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 He's doing like a spin move on it. Doing like a spin move. Fully looking at it. Not going to eat it. What's he doing? Just full dead stick. Oh, he didn't like it. There he goes. Look. Not that I really want to catch him. I just don't know why they won't eat. Why won't they eat? It's a huge school of G's. Oh, they're gonna eat. <laughs> they all come over, looking at it, looking. Who's got it? No one. Oh my god, GTs, they're so weird. They're sort of onto it, but they're not. They're acting like brim. They're acting like brim, man. What the hell, I thought they were always up for it, eh? The old GT, I thought they were always up for it. That was a mega school of GTs. Couldn't get any of them to eat. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. I'm sure they're not like runners or something. What are they? They want to eat it though. Little pack of GTs, those ones. Oh, tarpon. Tarpon. I think. Oh no, it's a little G. It's cool. Like, why didn't they eat it the first time? Little G boys. Oh, there's so many of them. Little G bangers. Look at them. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, they're up shallow. Why would they be weird? No, just spookage. Oh, he's clean. Hey, clean little G. Hey, come here, little G. On the sight cast. Ooh. Yeah, nice. I know it's not much, but little flats. Little flats trevally on that tiny little presentation there. Little crawl. We'll get him back in, eh? 
All right, Matt, ready? Boost. Hey, how rude. That's cool. Can I smoke it? Yep, smoked. <laughs> Not a little school of G's. <laughs> no finesse needed. <laughs> oh, what's a big one with him too? Big one. Oh. Big and big and silver that other one there, hey. Oi. Jeez, they go hard in the shallows, eh? Oi! Oi! Just settle. Second. Second little sidecast GT here on the on the flats. Come here. Shh, be quiet. You just see four of them sitting there just like doing their thing. Hey, 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 hey. Just terrorizing crabs by the looks of it. Oh right, mate, ready? Back in the shallows there. Boom. Go. There he goes. Very cool, very clean. Very clean, crisp water. It's fun seeing them and sight casting them too, but still waiting for that blue boy. Still waiting for the blue boy. And look at this stingray bastard. Yeah, I should have seen that stingray sooner. Big stingray feeding up here. Well, I spent all morning fishing flats um, and I saw a couple of fish, spooked a couple of fish. But what I did see a lot of is squids. So now it's low tide, as you can see behind me. These are the kind of flats that I was fishing. And all those fish and all that bait is all pumped off now. So I've seen a few squid. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chuck on a squid jig and I'm gonna try my luck. Plus I need some food as well. So I'm gonna keep a few squid if I can get some. Um, hopefully I can get a few and then the tide will turn and might have a quick crack at um, fishing the flats again this afternoon, but look conditions. I mean, two weeks of garbage for this. So we'll get two days of this. We've got to go hard. Let's squid, let's flatfish, let's do everything. So that's the plan anyway. All right, this is a little squid jig I'm going to use. You know, it's not too heavy. It's just enough for us to cast out. It's a fish ink one. Nice, vibrant colors. So let's get into them. We can almost sight cast them here in the shallows. So let's get into them. Where did they go? This thing, I spot locked and it took me off the zone. Couldn't believe it. Joke. This thing is a joke. Turn. There's one. There's another one. Yep. Perfect. Good one too. Yep. Here we go. Squidlies. So many squids there. Oh, there's so many there. There we go. He's had a few inks. Oh, he's still got a few in him. Very many inks. That one's squidding in there. That one's inking in there, but get off. There it goes. Now. Where were they? They were up here, up here before. Let's see if we can get another one or two. There they are. Neat.
대다야 어. 나이스 피쉬 Might be fish. Here come the squid, surely. Too small, those squids. Here we go, here we go, here we go, squid. There he goes. <laughs> Watch him eat it. How good's that? There he is. It's gotta go light. Very light on the squids. Another good one. Just pumps away. Let him just do his thing and squirt. Another one. Why is this thing not doing its thing? Let him ink. Let him ink. There's another two, three squids over there. He's got heaps of ink, this one, this guy. Decent. Decent one, this one. Very decent. Look at the water in there. <laughs> Little inkers. Oh, he's still inking this, this guy. Big boy. Big boy got a lot of ink. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, he's inking. We got some. Oh, <laughs> you bastard. Stinky boys. That's three in there. Where'd those other ones go? They were in here somewhere. A couple of really good squid in there. Oh, yeah, they're just sitting just here. Just off that ledge, that rocky ledge there. I got a very light squid jig on. I'm gonna sink it down to him just a tad. There he. Oh no, that's a garfish. Garfish, come to say hello. Couple of gars. A few bits and bobs. Not the squid though. Don't let. There he is. Got him. I wasn't even looking. I was just looking at my tank. I was about to turn it off. But yeah, they're just sitting there on that edge. There's a lot of bait fish sitting there as well. A couple of little fusies and bits and bobs. So yeah, this is a very decent squid. Oh, this one's a bit smaller. A little bit smaller. We'll put him in the box. We'll let him ink himself out. Look at that big, big blob of ink there. Plenty of ink in him. Got heaps of ink, these ones, eh? Jesus, he's got heaps of ink. This guy got so much ink, this one. Long lair. Come here. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. What a dick. Always aim squid away from the face. Always. Let's leave them in there. Just get a quick bucket and clean that. How's the, how's the ink, man? Slaying them. <laughs> Slaying them. We might try and just get a one more. Possible. I want to show you what they're sort of sitting. There's one. Just coming to eat my thing now. Um, they're sitting on this edge here at low tide. You do see a lot of them up on the flats. So, you've got sand, you've got the rocky edge or the corally edge here. 
We've got a lot of bait fish stacked up along the edge here. Uh, just swimming around my swid jig now, like little fusies and things like that, little little reef fish. See there's a lot of bait in the water here. So the squid will be eating those, they'll be eating little prawns. Bits and bobs, beautiful coral here too, actually. Not a bad spot for a snorkel. Maybe another day on the snorkeling, but see if we can get another one here. Just all bait fish. I'll just bait fish on that. Yeah, probably came in a little bit hot there, so they're fully aware of me now. But I just wanted to show you what they're sort of sitting in, where they're sort of sitting. We'll go out. We'll keep going out and around. We might pick up a few more down here. Grab as many as we can, I guess. Here we go. Oh, ah, it busted. Not busted, but came off. There he goes, he's got it. Yep. No need to strike with squid, you just lift and he'll do his thing. It's just a small one, this one. He'll just do his thing. There's so many squid here, eh? Put number five or six in there. There you go. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult, I'll put you in the bin. It's no dramas for me. I was gonna let that one go, but he'll eat all right. If you wanna take care of him, just straight up. Put him here, dead. He's dead. Stick him on some ice, done. Yeah, all done. And then this last guy, my hands just a touch and let's get out of here we ended up with five crackers in there look at that guy he's pretty big he's pretty i just washed my hands and i go and touch him what an idiot all right let's get out of here let's skedaddle that off is down spot lock here all right so we've got our little squid there we'll um get him done so we chop chop there off boom he's got a little little beak in there pop that out boom chop that out boom Usually I cut this in half there. Boom. Done. And then this, I just sharp knife. You can use your finger too, but I find I, I bust the ink sack a lot. I use my finger, so just run that knife around in there. Pretty much sorts him out. Should just slide out. Didn't get it all. Don't bust that ink sack. Yep, I busted it. <laughs> mm, inevitable. Oh no, I didn't bust it. There it is there. That's the ink sack there. You can just throw that overboard. You don't need that. And then you just want to get your little plastic knife out. Boom, the feather. Rid of that. Squid. Give that a rinse. Wait. Just get your thumb in there. 
Leave some alone. I'll get you underneath. Like that. Separate you. This is, if you want, the tube. Probably gonna cook mine flat, to be honest. Boom, just a little bit. Boom. There you go, bang. You can use those wings if you want. I mean, you can, but I'm not going to. Usually just chop the top off there. Get rid of that. There we go. Then I just slice him down like that. So I could have done that from the start, but just in case you wanted to see what it was like to get it all done I'll just give him a give him a score up cool alrighty take that over take that over hopefully that stays put let's see if we can start a fire here somewhere out of the wind, preferably. Let's go have a look. There we go, this looks almost perfect just here. Up there, boom boom. Just make our little we'll make our little flight fit in here. Will that go across there like that? No, of course not. Why would it work out? It's almost like someone just put all this tinder here for us. Quick salt and peppering of this stuff. Salt. Salt, pepper, perfect. And we might just quickly just cut this guy into twos. Oh, well, maybe four. Let me cut it into fours, I think. There we go. Squid kind of saved the day today, eh? Kind of saved the day. We've got ourselves a little lime on it as well. Get ourselves a little bit of lime. So that's pretty well done, that. See what that's like. Yeah, that's pretty well done, eh? Look at that. Ooh. It's nice. Oh, a little bit. Tiny bit chewy. But for the most part, pretty good. Alright, I'll just put that there. We didn't quite achieve our goal, but this is kind of saved the day. This squid, charred squid. So pretty, pretty tender. You make a leaf, a leaf bite. That's what I cooked it on. Look at that. Oh, a little bit chewy there, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good, all things considered. So, mmm, very nice. So we we'll have to try again on the tusks and the island life. It's a tough life, eh? Someone's got to. So I'm gonna do it, me and my little leaf flies and me squid. Living the dream. That's actually not bad, that squid, hey? I'm actually pretty happy with that. Actually, we'll see what the see what the body's like. Because the tentacles are always generally pretty good. Like they just sort of they sort of break apart. See? But usually the I have trouble with the the tube, with the body itself, the hood. Oh yeah. Anyways, that was about all for today. Just chilling. And we'll try and get a tusky another time, right? So we go. Yeah, we'll keep trying. The flats is a different thing for me, like I was trying to learn that. And I just kept seeing the squid and I was like, I gotta I gotta jam a couple of squid, so 
Yeah, all right. A little bit chewy that. Got the center bit there. Where the beak came out of. But yeah. Pretty much it, eh? Island life. Salt and pepper, lime and squid. Bob's your uncle, eh? Oh, thanks for watching.